how how to present us in front of the audience and what are the tips you are doing for that to make you impressive see costumes and makeup are very important and i think uh, that again uh, comes from teaching the kids right from the beginning in your classes right that's why they say put which go wear your bangles wear your chain and all of that the, the simple reason is not to force anybody but to get them inculcated into that habit of you know wearing all this because ultimately on stage you are you are going to wear that because you put a child on stage randomly and put a full tala saman chain she's not going to be able to adapt easily yes right as far as costumes are concerned i mean differs from each performance to performance and where you're performing who you're performing for what are you performing what is the purpose of the performance the, you know all all of these things matter and for me the tip that i use usually um when it comes to uh costumes is i do a lot of mix and matching i love to utilize what i already have to create new it's like a collage right i see costumes like a collage say for example as part of a corporate show i'm i'm wearing a normal costume but i'm doing a kathak sequence i can just simply slip on a skirt and then do it with the same attire right small small tips of using what you already have as additions i largely like minimalistic costume uh, simply because it gives you more space to kind of be free and dance i i like minimalistic but i know that there are certain stages where you cannot always do that so uh, there's no bias but i would prefer minimalistic costume and when it comes to makeup i think um, makeup is, is again a skill you hone over a period of time right you keep experimenting on yourself what looks good for you might not look good for somebody else um, understanding what are the features you have to highlight like how you draw an eye like if you have to understand the shape of your eye how you how the shape of your eye is is uh, you know based on that you have to draw the line otherwise your eyes will either look very small very big you know like that so it's a skill again you over years only even i have learned that right trial and error and trial and error 